It's just really cool watching something grow. My dad he used to keep a garden and water the grass in the backyard and grow trees and everything. Like, why do you always do that? He just said, I like the process of growth. You know, seeing things go from a seed to a tree. And then I started seeing that through the players that I started training. They say every person who is great has put in 10,000 hours of practice. I never really had a person to train me up and show me the right way of doing things. But what if I put guys through 10,000 hours of training? This whole training thing was an accident. I switched to an art school who happened to have a basketball team, the only one in the United States that has a basketball team. It's locked. These guys came up and asked me, did I want to train them? I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm not a, I'm not a trainer. I just finished playing basketball. I'm like, low key, I was depressed. I was just looking for answers on different things to do, which kind of put together what I'm doing now. Stay with that same energy you got. It's right right now. It looks right, it should feel right too. All right, let's get into it. So we pop into this. Pop. Great balance. 15. Hey, when you go this way, you lower your release. That way it's perfect. That was almost there, that last one. Let's try one more. I made a day in the life project about training the guys, because that's all I was doing, editing and training. So I'm like, OK. I kind of started liking it, you know? Crawl before we walk, walk before we run, run before we fly, right? You about to start running. You ain't ready to fly yet. Catch and shoot. Continue to put the release in the correct spot every time. Editing and training. I got one coming right back to you. Editing became a training aid, too. <laughs> try one more. Oh, I need one perfect one. Hey, that's nice. 12. There you go. When you get tired, that's the most important time to do something right. Because you can build a good habit or you can build a bad habit. All right. I didn't have a hard drive to save that video on. I saved it on YouTube. And it ends up going viral. Boom. I look one day at 5,000 views. Next day, 10,000. Next day, 15,000. What really gets me going is when I can touch others' lives and inspire other people to do the same thing. There was an email that somebody sent me a long time ago. This person said, hey, you really motivate me. I watched your videos and you inspire me to keep going. I have cancer. I see how hard your players work. It makes me want to keep fighting. When I saw that, I just broke down. I couldn't help but cry. Because it's like, damn, what I'm doing with these kids in this gym right now is motivating people in other aspects of life. If you could develop the mindset to work hard in basketball, you can do that with anything. You know, a round orange rubber basketball. And it's crazy just to think about, you know, how powerful that thing is. Woo, tired. So I, I work really hard at this. But I remember why I'm doing all this. It kind of just makes me get back focused and start working towards a goal. You a cat. You really a cat. Uh, to the bucket, you gonna hit the layup, right? Finish that with the outside. We gonna get the rebound. You gonna give me contact right here. Ball right here, shot. Finish that. Good shot, boy. Let's run at him. Hey. 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 Finish. Here we go. <laughs> that cross came late. Good shot. So it's gonna be like one. He's a moron. Good job, boy. What's counting? Got, got him. Come on, Phil. Uh oh, that's disrespect. Here you go. Here you go. That was a good move. So, hey, yo, game point. 
If you lose, you gotta do push up. Let's go. Use your limp, John. He trying to finish it right here. Oh, good move. Oh, he long. Basketball has taught me so much. Hopefully I can do the same for somebody else. It's taking me everywhere and I don't think it's done doing it. Like I said, I'm just a piece, just a piece of the puzzle.